Example 1, find the area and perimeter or circumference of each figure. If necessary, round any decimals to the nearest tenth. Make sure to round properly. Try this on your own first and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. First thing I like to do is I like to identify what shape I'm working with. So in this first one, I have four right angles and then two pairs of congruent sides which means it's not a square because it's not equilateral, it is a rectangle. In problem two, I have an equilateral and equiangular, so a regular quadrilateral, that is a square. Four congruent sides, four congruent angles. And lastly, I have a circle. All right, for a rectangle, I know my perimeter is 2L plus 2W. Here I can identify W, or we'll identify this as L. L is 13 and W is 57. Plugging these in, I get 2 times 13 plus 2 times 5, sorry, 5.7, not 57. That was my mistake. 2 times 13 is 26. 2 times 5.7 is 11.4. Twenty-six plus 11.4 is 37.4, and do not forget your units, meters. That's perimeter. Area is length times width, so I need to substitute in these numbers, 13 and 5.7. I substitute in 13 for length and 5.7 for width. 13 times 5.7 is 74.1 meters, and because this is area, it's a squared unit. So my area for my rectangle is 74.1 meters. I'm going to label these PR for rectangle and area R for rectangle. Now let's try the square. The perimeter of a square is 4S. Here, our side length is 1.6. I can substitute in 1.6 for s, giving me 4 times 1.6. And 4 times 1.6 is 6.4. My units are centimeters. That is the perimeter of my square. So p sub s is 6.4 centimeters. The area of a square is s squared, or s times s. You can pick whichever one you prefer. So I substitute in 1.6 for s, I get 1.6 squared. 1.6 squared, or 1.6 times 1.6, is 2.56, but you were told to round to the nearest tenth, meaning this rounds to 2.6 centimeters squared. And that's the area for my square. Lastly, we have our circle. The circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. Here, my radius is 2. I can substitute 2 in for r, so I get 2 times pi times 2. You do have a pi button on your calculator. If you're using a TI-83 or a TI-84, it's located above the little caret symbol, above your plus, minus, divides, multiply multiplication buttons. So you want to hit the second button and then pi. So we get pi times 2 times 2 which is 12.566 but I want to round this to the nearest tenth. Since this is a 6 it rounds up to 12.6 yards. And this is the circumference of the circle. Lastly I want to find the area of the circle which is pi r squared. I substitute 2 in for our r, so I get pi times 2 squared. If you want to, you can use 3.14 for pi. That's absolutely fine. So I get 3.14, or the pi button in your calculator, times 2 squared, which is 4, is 12.6 but now we're yards squared.